We're now six weeks after a decompression of the superficial perineal nerve on the lateral leg right here and at the proximal tibial nerve in the calf. Previously, about six months ago, we performed a decompression of the common perineal nerve. This patient had a foot drop after a hip replacement and was not able to move her foot. Uh, can you show us how you're moving your foot now? So she was not able to lift her leg at all and slowly over the past several months she's been able to regain the ability to lift her foot as well as to rotate it outward. And furthermore she had some pain. Can you tell us about the pain that you had in your leg before we did this second operation? Um, whenever I got out of bed during the night or in the morning, I would, it would take me about a good 10 minutes just to be able to stand on my foot because the pain was excruciating uh, to even just get out of the room. But now I can just get up no matter how long I've been lying down and it doesn't bother me. There's no pain at all. Um, and also just general pain I don't have like I used to have all the time. That would come and go. It's, I mean, it's still there a little bit, but it's not, not nowhere near what I had before. And tell me about the uh, sensation of coldness that you used to have in your leg. When did you notice that got better? Uh, the same day as the surgery. As soon as um, my daughter uh, was uh, doing my socks on my legs or whatever, that, that night, within a few hours after surgery, she noticed that my leg was warm and I felt both my legs. It, it was totally the same as my other leg and I never had the coldness again. It's always the same as the rest of the body with temperature now. And before surgery, what was it like? It was cold all the time. The circulation was very poor. And uh, I actually was told that was normal to expect that. So. Okay. Would, or would you say that this was a successful operation Ab for you? Absolutely. Okay. I'm glad I did it. Thank you yes. very much.